is more vitamin D better? That is unanswered at this point. So like I said before, the optimal range is still not an agreed upon range across clinical groups and organizations. And so what more vitamin D means is relative to, to where you're at. Do we need to be above 50 nanograms per mil for health? That's an open question. I have not seen the evidence that shows that being at 30 versus 70 um, is worse. And so it's important to know what you're trying to do. Are you um, trying to get up to 70 or 80 nanograms per mil because you saw that on the internet? If that's the reason, then maybe you need to check with your healthcare provider or check with other experts in this field to understand what is actually the use or the point of getting to levels as high as 70, 80, 90, 100 nanograms per mil. Also, you need to consider what it takes to get to that level. Typically, to get above the 30 to 50 range, you're going to need to be above 4,000 IU, which is the upper limit of intake recommended by the Institutes of Health. For most people, they are able to hit 30 to 50 nanograms per mil within that range. Once you go above that range, you will be needing to take 5,000 IU a day, 10,000 IU a day. And you have to understand for yourself, is that something you want to be doing? Once you hit, once you're above the upper limit of intake, I would strongly recommend that you uh, are consulting with your healthcare provider and testing more frequently to make sure that you are not getting into um, undesirable zones of vitamin D levels in your blood. So when your blood levels get above about 150 nanograms per mil, that's where you can start to see toxicity symptoms. So we have deficiency when you don't have enough, your body starts to uh, do some funny things. And the same thing happens when you have too much of these nutrients. And it's virtually impossible to get vitamin D toxicity except for when you're using supplements. Sun and sun exposure does not create vitamin D toxicity and food doesn't have a lot of vitamin D. So when you get above about 150 nanograms per mil, then you can start to see calcification in your body outside of your bones. So calcification is what makes your bones hard and you want your bones to be hard and everything else to not be hard. Um, this is something we see in, in heart disease. When our blood vessels start to get calcified, that means they aren't flexible, they can't handle blood flow very well and they don't function well. And too high of vitamin D can start to have your organs and your tissues get calcium in them and become hard and they can't function. So it can be very serious. Um, and so it's very important not to just super dose vitamin D without testing, without talking to your healthcare provider, um, because there can be significant negative consequences.